to slay the sector, the dirt of BWR. I'm your host, Brian McCulloch with Big Wheel Coaching, and with my friends at Pure Gravel and Envy Composites, we're putting together all the sectors of the dirt of BWR to help you get through clean, fast, and ready to rip on race day. We're here at the entrance of the Mighty Mule. This is an out and back sector, so we're gonna hit it twice, and it's the last sector in our first five sectors of dirt. On the way out, you've hit it early, you've gone fast, you've gone through the Lemon Twistenberg, Stur Uket, you've hit the Kakaboule, you've done your Hodges Gate, and now you're here. It's like the never ending dirt. We've got a four kilometer sector of twists, turns, ups and downs, a bit of sand, and some fast rolling terrain. This is one of the iconic sectors of BWR San Diego because it's fast, it's twisty, and it's just, you gotta do a little shimmy sometimes on the bike to be able to go fast and not hit rocks, be able to make it through the sand fast. We have three things to show you today. Let's get into it. As you kick off the Sector 5, the Mighty Mule, you're going through the Mule Trail here in the San Dieguito River Park, and you notice you're going by a park here on your left. On race day, there's going to be a sag station here, a well-stocked sag station, and uh, you're gonna wanna probably stop here on the way back. I'm hoping that you're not stopping on the way out. Well, if it's super hot, you're probably gonna need to stop. So uh, that'll be a race day decision for you, but there is a well-stocked aid station there. And as we get onto the bike path here, you know, you hear me say it all the way through these videos, there's two-way trail users all right, everybody, this might look like a mundane trail, but I promise you the name Mighty Mule is here for a reason. Right now, we've got a whole lot of runway, and you're asking yourself, why am I watching this video? Because this is gonna be easy on race day. I wanna point out some important details. There is two-way traffic on this portion of the course. You're just gonna have come through the San Dieguito entrance and trail entrance, and so you're gonna have seen salvation. There's pavement, there's an aid station, do I stop? And you're gonna ride through it. Then what's gonna happen is you're gonna get some momentum ripping through this section. Here you come to this seemingly mundane left turn. On race day, there is going to be basically tape in the middle of this section because there's gonna be a lot of runners and hikers. Remember on race day, even though it is a race to us bike riders, it is still open trail. We still have to share the trail. We still have to be respectful and we wanna be great stewards of our sport. So why then am I standing at this turn? Because you're gonna fly into it, you just got your momentum back and then right there on the outside of that is a whole lot of fluffy dirt that's front end losing crash fest dirt. We're gonna show you how to check up for this turn to go through it as if the center line or the inside race line is unavailable to you because guess what? It is. Here we go, picking up a little momentum. We're gonna turn right up here, kind of cruising up onto the Mighty Mule Trail where it actually starts, but this is just kind of the park access to the Mule Trail. Gonna hang a little right here. Nothing, nothing too uh, adventurous, but certainly uh, another little thing that saps some speed from you and a little bit of sand on the edges of the trails. As we go right here towards the mule trail, one thing I want you to pay attention to is this construction up here. This is new, this has never been there before, so just be mindful here as we turn hard right onto the mule trail. This is the actual beginning of the trail. In the past, it's been much narrower. For 2021, this is wide open. I mean, there's water trucks running on this. This has been tamped down. Uh, this is gonna be full speed, full value, full send, uh, everybody. So this is a great place to grab some water. It's a great place to pick up a little speed, spin the legs, find a nice cadence, and go. And you can even see, again, we're talking about two-way traffic. Look, we've got a car or a construction truck uh, from one of the foremen going towards us here. So you know, give them a little wave. Hey guys, we're coming through. Uh, in 10 days, we're gonna be racing bikes here. So uh, let's see, nothing too eventful. I'm trying to think of how you might be feeling here at this race. You, uh, at this point in the race, you're probably gonna be feeling pretty good. You're gonna be going hard on dirt for a long time and you still got some heavy lifting to do, but this is kind of the last flat section and so it's something to enjoy. I really like the Mule Trail, uh, specifically Mighty Mule this way is very, very fast and it's good fun. You're gonna see why we're gonna rip along a, a, tr a fence line here in a minute. It's a really, really fun trail. Uh, we're gonna turn left here in a moment, go over just a tiny little bump, nothing to worry about here, but 
again, we've still got more construction traffic uh, to deal with here. We got equipment in the road, this, that, the other. This will not be here on race day, but that bench is going to be there, and that's a good landmark for you left onto the main part of the trail. Uh, we're gonna start picking up things more normally, um, bumps, uh, water bars, etc. So kind of from here on out, the construction is behind us, and we're ready to rip. We got that little climb just up ahead. You can see it if you look out in the distance. You can see the trail, you can see where we're going. But I want you to enjoy this portion of the trail. It's fast, it's fun. The Mighty Mule is one of my favorite um, portions of BWR San Diego. But one thing you'll keep it uh, is kind of treacherous and looming is the climb of Highland Valley Road. So whether you're doing wafer or waffle, you still have to climb Highland Valley Road. And so, uh, like I said, savor this fast, fun dirt sector because uh, there's some heavy lifting of road climbing ahead. So. A couple of those water bars, those can be pretty bumpy, uh, nothing too crazy. But this left turn is something to be mindful of. It's sandy on the outside, you can see here. Very easy to lose time or maybe end up in the bushes if you're going too fast. This is a really important turn and I wanna tell you why. You're just gonna go on up a little hill. There's a bunch of whoops, you're gonna have shifted into your easiest gear, maybe not quite the easiest gear, but close. Come up and then you're gonna come down through a couple of water bars and rain ruts, getting a little rowdy. That's gonna push you to the outside of this, this entrance to this corner. You can't see it yet, but you'll see in just a moment. What you would normally do for the racing line is come out here in this fluff, setting up for the left turn. That's the racing line. That's where you wanna be. It's BWR, right? You wanna go fast. But here's what I wanna show you. This right here, that's no good for the front tire. Remember, exit speed is the most important. So just take a second. It's gonna get rowdy, take a breath. Go into this corner, head up, eyes forward, and look through the corner. You're gonna have to step in here to a nice race line and come through so that you can exit here. What's gonna wanna happen is, you're gonna wanna get rowdy into this corner, I promise you, you're gonna wanna get rowdy into this corner and you're gonna push out here into this fluff. All this sand, that's a no-no. Take a minute, after the downhill, set up for the corner, get your exit speed, get rolling. Let's move on to the next section. Once we're here with this fence line on the left, in the past, this has been very, very sandy and we'd had to ride the edges of the trail. Uh, this is much more hard packed for 2021 here on Mighty Mule, which is good news. That means you're going faster. There are still a couple of sections that we need to call out for you here. And keep in mind that as you're kind of floating from left to right on the trail, take a look at the coloring of this dirt or of this trail. You see that there's kind of some farmland and some agriculture on the left side. So that means that this periodically gets uh, watered. That is both a good thing because it's less dusty, but it's also a bad thing because what that means is there's some potholes here that are hidden that you can't quite tell. So there's essentially very dense parts of the trail, uh, which are bumpy and hard pack. And there's uh, also some very soft sections of the trail. So that's really what you're trying to avoid is those soft sections, but you're also trying to avoid getting beat up by the hard sections. We just passed a little dip there. That's one of those hard sections. It has some bumps. There's another one there. It's got some bumps and so you kind of kind of jump from left to right on the trail or from right to left it goes both ways so keep that in mind and as you're watching this video i want you to see that mountain that's to our uh kind of our right shoulders there that's highland valley road that's where we're going we're going to go through that little gap in the two ridges there uh, up to our right. So there's definitely some heavy lifting to be done. If you're on waffle, you're in for a really stiff climb. If you're in for wafer, you're also in for a stiff climb, but you get about two thirds of the fun. So uh, there you go. If you're in for waffle right now, you got some heavy lifting. So just savor that fun. You can see us kind of deviating here and there um, from the rider in front of me. You know, when we start going pretty fast here, this is kind of semi downhill. So you pick up a lot of speed. You want to be looking over the rider's uh, shoulder in front of you because uh, you could be coming into a sandbar, you could be coming into some bumps, this, that, the other. So sometimes it's good to just be off the line. It's not so much like a road event where uh, on a road race, you know, hopefully you're on a good wheel and that means you just follow the wheel in front of you. This is sometimes uh, someone makes a mistake and they move in the last moment and you hit a pothole or, or hit that rock. So just sometimes it's good just to look around, look over the rider in front of you and uh, just make sure you protect that front wheel. It's definitely your, your responsibility there and it'll keep you moving fast and keep you away from mechanicals. 
Got a little right turn here. There's a couple of rock sections coming up, I believe, when we go out of this left turn here. There should be the rock section. There you go. Little rowdy, nothing to worry about. You back straight on the pedals, heels down, driving, riding the bike hard here, trying to maintain speed. We got some sand. This is the portion of the trail that gets sandier. So as you're floating to the outside of these corners, it's just like, poof, there's a little sand there. You can see I'm going left, trying to find a little bit of that traction. And this is one of the most notorious sections of, the, of this section, or rather the sector right here, because it's very fast and it's often in years past been very, very sandy all the way through. Uh, this year's a little bit different. There's just a big sand puff coming up here on our right. So we're gonna stay left. Here we go, we're gonna stay left and there's even gonna be a deeper sandbar uh, coming up that we will then veer further left. Here we go, here's that big water bar I was kind of talking about, rather the sand section. So you can see it's really starting to cheat left on the course there. We're gonna start heading left here Stand on the left side of the road. Look down towards those, uh, um, all of the roots on the side of the trail there. Those are actually very, very important because that shows you that's where water is, that's where dense parts of the trail is. Coming up here, we're gonna make a right. Uh, it's easy to miss this turn, believe it or not. So we're gonna make a right here, and this is the end of the mule trail. Warning, warning, warning. There's a road crossing ahead. But before you get there, we've got this Y in the road. You're gonna be flying down this road, I promise you. It's slightly downhill, the dirt is nice, you're gonna be clicking gears and getting some momentum. Little do you know, the Hidden Valley climb, road climb, is ahead and it's like lights out. But before you get there, you don't wanna take a wrong turn. Luckily for us, Monuments of Cycling, Belgian Waffle Ride, folks always mark the course as great. But even a great marked course, you can go off course. You get rushing, you don't know what's going on, you're getting some momentum, you're clicking gears, trying to drink a little bit because all this chaos, and you're gonna go left here. I know it sounds crazy, but trust me, I've seen it happen to even the best of bike riders. They go left. Mistakes happen. This whole video series is about helping you manage mistakes because I want you to slay the sector. That warning road crossing section tells you we're turning right, but check this out. We get a little bonus. I'm an old dirt bike rider. I like to get a little bit, whew, okay? You get like a little berm there. You get a little berm shot. I'm gonna set the front end right over here. We get a little chirp, chirp. Carry that momentum. Remember, we talked about momentum all the time in these videos about carrying momentum and rebuilding momentum after it goes away. This is a great time to enjoy the momentum you built it. Rip this turn, stay right at the Y. Little do you know, the Highland Arenberg is just ahead of crushing road climb. Enjoy this ripper of a turn because you've just been through almost continuous dirt since Del Dios Highway, five sectors down, hard road climbing ahead. See you at the next sector, Black Canyon. Hey, thank you so much for watching our Slay the Sector, the Dirt of BWR San Diego videos. I have to say a special shout out to our presenting sponsor, my friends at Envy Composites. They're awesome. They're bike riders just like you and me. They make incredible products. They absolutely want to help you slay the sector, not just through video study, but by great products, handlebars, seat posts, wheels, the whole nine. Great stuff. Please check them out. They are awesome. Also, I want to say a high five, give a massive high five to Expedo pedals. I have the road and the mountain version, both rock. Check out the CXR. I think they're a great pedal for BWR, as well as Velo Saddles. These guys, again, they're bike riders just like us, but their passion is manufacturing great saddles. Little gripper, nice wide base, I love it, okay? So please, check out our sponsors, the people that help bring this to you, because they want to help you have a great day on the bike. Please, 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 check them out. And one final note, check out puregravel.com. Why do they call it pure gravel? because it's everything getting rowdy and having fun. It's all the best parts of gravel. PureGravel.com, they helped make this possible. They saw the vision here that wants to help you have a great time at the Belgian Waffle Ride, San Diego, Kansas, 
North Carolina, and Cedar City. So check out puregravel.com for all your gravel needs. They rock.